Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass. <laughs> God. Welcome to Porsche Guildford and the start of this year's My Next Car series. For the last two years, Tony and I have done a series of test drives in the build-up to me purchasing a new car. And you may have seen that uh, this month, my 718 Cayman S has gone up for sale at Gravelwood with Tony. That car was only ever going to be a 12-month car. It was always going to go at this time of year. So the hunt for the new car begins. And we've come down to Porsche Guildford because this is where I bought my Cayman and it feels like the logical place to start this year's series. This is where it all started. It's where it all started. Mm. Tony's having a, a, a tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. cut sugar out, mate. I put like half a sugar in. But it's not cutting it out though, No, no, it? no, but I used to have two. Okay, you're reducing your sugar intake. Yeah, yeah. Good man. Although I just had a Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> Once he's finished his high intake of caffeine, uh, we'll have a little cruise around, see what they got in uh, the dealership. But we are also actually picking up the first car for our test drive series. Exc exciting and, time. And this is a contender, this, this car. This is a big I contender. I love this car. You little team. <laughs> Un unrealistic, <laughs> but still so good. This car's been here a while. The new GT3, you miss yours a bit, don't you? Even though you've got the RS. I do miss it because you can just use it a bit more. So good. These are so attractive. And actually, there is a Gen, well, not Gen 1, 991 Gen 1 GT3 oh, over there. Point 0.1, thank you. Uh, which has already been sold, so I'm not going to go over there and show it too much because I'll ruin someone's collection day. <laughs> Only if they follow me, good point. That was a very egotistical thing to say. Thank you, Tony, for bringing me back down Thank to earth. Down. <laughs> um, but they're a little bit more, they're closer financially to these, because these are still up at, what, 160? Yeah, if they've got no miles on them, they've that money. Um, they're, what are they, 115? Yeah, unbelievable. And they're still such great cars. But interesting here, we've got two of these. Are these Guards Reds? Guards Reds, yeah. Oh, such, a, such a Porsche fan. Uh, but anyway, awesome to see. I just wanted to point that out. No, I'm not considering buying a point two GT3. If I had my way, you would be. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you don't have your way. Now, we'll come over here quickly because there is... Oh, oh that's a lovely spec. Oh, is that Midnight Blue? Boxster GTS. Midnight Blue with black? What I actually want to do is come over and look at this because a lot of people have been saying to me that this is what I should be considering. The 718 Cayman GTS. So obviously, Tony, currently trying to sell my uh, Cayman S. Get on with it, mate. Uh, <laughs> this is the GTS, so the step up 15 more horsepower, um, a little bit sport. I mean, my car had so many of the options that this car has, it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. I, I kind of I think it's probably no point. Like, there's no point in you stepping up. This is a manual one, which is quite nice, but I agree. For me, this doesn't make any yeah, sense. No, I mean, the, uh, sense me I've become a huge Porsche fan and I love Good. the brand, but, but this just feels way too similar. And as we're going to explain when we get in the car that we're here to pick up, I'm after something pretty different to a traditional two-seat two sports car. Got my words out. Ooh, ooh, that is lovely. So I just spent a week with the 901.2 GTS out in America, and that spec. Have you driven one of those yet? I'm sorry. Um, so that's my thumbnail right there. <laughs> what did you think? I loved this. Mate, that, that is an everyday GT3. It, oh, thank you, that's what I said. It's brilliant performance. It's a little did bit- Did you really say that? Yeah, I actually said it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're so true. Brilliant. But I, there's something, because the new 911 is coming, the 992, yep. I feel like that will very quickly sort of I don't know, it's just not that desirable. The problem is with, with that particular car, they've, they've made quite a lot, mm. as in there's more of them than probably S's and 4S's. Yeah, but it's brilliant. It's brilliant. I mean, it's fantastic, but I, there's just some, for some reason, I don't desperately want one. I think it's great. I just, I don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's a perfect, if you live in London, like you, and perhaps you're not a YouTuber, and you went to the bank and done stuff in a bank. That's a perfect car. Yeah, good point. Perfect. Very good point. Enough farting around looking inside the dealership. I reckon let's go and pick up the car that we are here to collect. It's my. Lo it's a loan car. We're not picking up this yeah. car. You haven't bought it. I haven't bought it yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh, a Panamera. 
We're on. Sport Turismo, we're on. Yeah, yeah. We're always on, mate. Just always be prepared. You know that. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my seat. I can see. Who is expecting this? Probably quite a few of you, because I have been like teasing the whole fact that I'd be looking at estates and SUVs and all these different things. Mate, but yes, this is, sick. This this is, is so sick. nice. I didn't expect it to be this good. No, no. So yeah, just to clarify, this is the Panamera Sport Turismo 4S. Correct. It's a bit complicated name. Uh, there are now two versions of the Panamera, the standard car and then the Sport Turismo, which is kind of more of a traditional station wagon. It's got the, or estate, it's got the sort of extended rear back. Looks better as well. The 4S, the most affordable of all Panameras. <laughs> oh no, do they do a, they must just do a four, don't they? And they it's do a, a they do the the hybrid. Hybrid? Which would be similar money to this. Okay, and the turbo, the, the turbo S, turbo S E. Yeah, and then the hybrid turbo thing. There's a lot of there's a real top range one, but we're going yeah. this level because um This is uh, mid. This is mid and yeah. the, the turbos are just too much money. Too, too much money. But this is super nice in here. Um let's V8? V8. V8. You might be thinking, Sam, why are you looking at changing your two-seater sports car to a, in this case, five-seater? No, four-seater. Four-seater wagon. Congratulations, your girlfriend's having a baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Everyone. The minute I bought Ivan, people were like, he's having a baby. My girlfriend was like, are we having a baby? What's going on? <laughs> That's not what's happening. But... Uh, I still got to tease it, which is so annoying. All will become clear in a couple of weeks. I have been talking about it for a while now on the channel, on the podcast, and on social media that the sort of follow up to Vlog Angeles, Vlogari is happening and it, the announcement of it is coming and blah, blah, blah. And it's huge, it's huge. And it does kind of dictate what car I will replace the Cayman with, doesn't it? Absolutely. Tony does know everything. But we can't. It, this is actually quite a difficult video. It's a very you, difficult you video. Talk about it. Basically, the full test drive series will be commencing post the announcement, which is to be expected, I think, in the next uh, 10 days or two weeks. I can't tell you the exact date just yet. Um, the reason we're doing this video now is to kind of set the whole series up, but also because this is the week that Porsche Guildford could lend me this very cool car. Absolutely. <laughs> so, criteria. That's what we need to get into. Because there is a sort of set criteria. We can at least talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Four seats. I would like a car with four seats. Categorically? Not categorically. <laughs> 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 oh God. I said I would like a car with four seats. I would consider a two plus two. Okay. And I would consider a two seat. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> but no, I would like to look towards four seaters. Preferably. Preferably. Fine. Now, I want it still to be sporty, so I don't want to literally just get like a, you know, a diesel A6. Or an S-Max. Or an S-Max. <laughs> I want it still to be sporty. Yeah. It needs to have a certain amount of boot space, yeah. you know, because uh, that's the one thing which the Cayman was very good at, is I could fit a lot of things in it. Yeah, yeah. Because it had the two boots. Yep. So this is why this particular car ticks so many boxes. It's a Porsche. It's quick. It's got four seats, and it's got a big old boot. Why don't I buy it? Done. <laughs> Done. Sorted. End of series. <laughs> <laughs> today we start the series and today we finish it. We're just that good these days. We don't Tony. even know what, what we're going to call it. No, we have no idea. It's not my next daily. Maybe it's my next car. I mean, it's just all a bit confusing. <laughs> it's just an absolute shamble. Quite hard. <laughs> I wish I'd thought this through more. <laughs> oh my God, I've spent the last four days hunched over a laptop working on <laughs> the big announcement and I've just come out of this kind of black hole and I don't really know what I'm doing with my life, but. You know the funny thing about all this is we have been talking about this for about six months. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's talk about some of the other cars that we're gonna be lining up to test drive so people can get excited. Um, the Mercedes E63 S wagon, I really, estate, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Lots of English people get annoyed with me calling them wagons, but I just find it like a cooler name than estate. Uh, that I'm really intrigued by, an obvious direct competitor to this car. We will not be test driving an Audi RS6, will we? No, because you don't like them. I don't like them. <laughs> no, I love them. You love them and it's so annoying that you love them and I think the whole of social media seems to love them, but it's just never been a car for me. In my mind, if I'm looking at fast, Estates, it's this or the E63. Yeah, there is one big problem with the RS6 now. It's too old. Yeah, it's old, and the new one's about to come out any yeah. day now. 
So I think if we're looking at estates, it's going to be these two cars. Yeah. Um, now SUVs. I, I do still want to keep open to SUVs. I bang on about this a long time, uh, for a long time, that I've always liked the idea of having an SUV. When are you looking to get this car? Like, tomorrow. <laughs> I'm really behind schedule. <laughs> um, uh, by the end of the, like, beginning of October at the latest. I actually know when he's going to get it, but I'm just... No, good, thank you. You're you such are. a pro YouTuber now, you're yeah. really helping me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're, we're running behind schedule. We've got, to, we've got to power through these test drives. So SUVs, I was looking at the GLC 63S. Yeah, yeah. But then someone told me it's got the old C63 interior and that upset me a bit. Yeah, so it will do. It will have, yeah, yeah. I think we discount that. Range Rover Sport SVR, the new shape. Do we give that a go? It's a good car, mate. It's a good car. I yeah, love yeah. Range Rovers. Only thing is, my dad has Range Rovers. So I feel like he doesn't have an I, SVR, though. No, he doesn't have an FVR. God, he'd be <laughs> terrified. But I think I might feel like my dad if I'm driving it around. Okay. So... You do talk like your dad. Don't say that. <laughs> Not literally. You sound exactly the same. <laughs> literally the same, man. <laughs> he just swears a bit just more. Just swears a bit more and spends less money than me. Uh, oh, so, the other curveball is a big GT car. Something that's, you know, I say two plus two, like a Bentley Continental, but not a Bentley Continental. Okay. Uh, a DB11. Yeah. You know, do you know what I mean? Yeah, an S63 Coupe. The new facelift S63 Coupe, yeah. I love the look of. Yeah. So, we've got to build this list together. We would love your help. Please put some suggestions below. As I say, you kind of know the rough criteria now. Um, what about Astro VXR? Oh, <laughs> every series, for those of you that haven't watched, every single series we do, Tony goes, oh, man, extra VXR. I Not mean, because just because like you're it. sponsored by Vauxhall these days. <laughs> by the way, should we do a bit of an acceleration? I haven't done that oh, yet. Yeah. Sport, sport, sport Plus, so let's come down. Manual? Yeah, yeah, uh, so. Manual. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Are you going or not? Now. It's just a big push. It's a big push. It's a big push. It's not that quick. But, uh, you know, on the motorway you need to 40 to 60, it's... Yeah, you need okay. to focus what you actually want this for. Yes, good point, good point. Oh, this is very confusing. Anyway, right now, um, I'm going to drop Tony off at Audi Epsom. Not quite. No, no close. Close, right, okay, right. nearby. Yeah. I'm going to pick uh, a car up because most of you know that I actually do do some work. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. So, you actually have a car dealership. Yeah. You're not just a uh, yeah. track obsessed <laughs> yeah. supercar collector. Yeah. And not just his sidekick. We should clarify that. <laughs> um, so yes, Tony's a car dealer, unbelievably. He does have a very nice 718 Cayman S for sale. Um, so you're going to go pick up a car. I'm going to drop you off. And then I'm going to join you guys again in a few days' time when I've spent some more time with this Panamera and can share some more thoughts on it. So yeah, apologies for the very mysterious and confusing uh, start to this video. Hopefully I'll make a little bit more sense in a few days time. What channel is this? What I have no it? idea. What, what, what? Oh, is this seen through glass or behind the glass? I don't know. Seen through glass? Is it? Is it seen it? through glass? Let us know. What channel has this gone out on? Did I think got... seen through glass. Okay. So I don't know what... Hello to some people that I've never met before because I've not been on here for about a year. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're busy enough on Archie's channel so... <laughs> it's a bit of jealousy. I've, I've loaned you out for the day. <laughs> He's fuming. <laughs>